very good morning to everybody viewing this is the start of the third t20 between sri lanka and new zealand at the pisara oval in colombo although the series winners has been decided lot to play for for both these teams for new zealand it's a clean sweep first bilateral series in sri lanka and for sri lanka it's all about pride i got the two captains with me chamari atapattu sophie divine and michel pereira chamari you got the coin tails is the call Heads is a call. The smile says it all. Shamari, what are you going to do? Uh, we are going now um, ball first. That's the New Zealand New Zealand team for today's game. We could keep an easy guess coming in for Bezet and Hort, Bates, Kerr, Divine, Green, Plimmer. Sri Lanka two changes in their side. Kavya Kavindi and Imaisha Dulani coming into the team in place of uh, Vishmi Gunaratna and Udeshika Prabodini. Prabodini also played all five games. There you go the cap presentation before the game to Imesha Dulani she made her ODI debut Kavya Kavindi will bowl the first delivery of the third T20 Distance the most experienced player on the on the field across both teams she comes down the track and uh, the the length wasn't there but she struck that beautifully Make sure she's seeing it correctly. She doesn't tee off straight away. There, as I say that, she's down the track and she's slamming that one over mid on for four. Really bail out of your shots. Oh, that's that's a fantastic straight drive from Gaze. I don't want to get through the power play without having made that uh, made that breakthrough. But Bates down the track. Little turn from her. Down the track again. And that's gone through Kavisha Dilhari at uh, at mid off. Oh, bottom edge. That's unlucky. It's going to go for four. Very good platform to get much more than that. This is one. Oh, that's that's a very poor option taken by a guess. Time again, Mahathir. The Sri Lankan spinners have not been able to do what they do best, and the white phone batters have not allowed them to do it. There you are. Not a lot of feet. Just trying to stand and play that. With you need to get go down on that. Countries play a bilateral series in Sri Lanka. I'm pretty sure Sophie Divine would be wanting to go back home with the series. But that's a magnificent shot. Been the same. Fine leg remains vacant. Beautifully played this time. Chamari Atapattu was quite quick through the offside. Looks like they'll be chasing at least 150 to 160. And that's that's a uh, that's caught at mid off. Also, I think from Atapattu didn't really push the fielders back despite the power play being done. Amelia Kerr not able to get the elevation she needed on that occasion. So crucial breakthrough once again. Uh, it's the left arm spin this time. Sugantika Kumari. She's been one of the better bowlers for Sri Lanka right, uh, in the T20 series. Down the track again, and I, uh, she she beats the the long on fielder. Oh, and she's pulled her first ball. That's fantastic from uh, from Kavisha Dilhari. Susie Bates, the wicket. She might uh, have been a stumping candidate as well, but Dilhari doesn't miss. Yeah, a bit of bit of flight, and a little bit of just a hint of drift in the air. That's I think what what did. That's a big shot from Divine. That's what she can do. Guard against that, that slog sweep a little bit. But it doesn't matter, she goes down the ground. Over long on this time. She could have been out for nine. But they do have a wicket at the end of that over. Kavindi has deserved that wicket. Infield and not get able to get the elevation she needed. Very similar decision, uh, dismissal to what we saw from Amelia Kerr, Kavisha Dilhari just holds on. Under one, it's going to clear the boundary. Could land that, but pummel that through the ground. Oh my goodness. Long on, deep into the deep square leg. Miss hit. Fortune favors the brave. When you're in that mood, sometimes it can go your way and uh, on deep into get there right in the game. Out. Well, bowl that. So her coming down. It's uh, Plimmer coming down the track, trying to uh, work through the offside. The ball was full and need a bit of stumping. 
Wasn't that easy? But in the end, full marks will be a big delivery. In the air, an over square leg, and clears the boundary as well. Of a battle here, Divine versus Ranavira. As she got the distance, oh, got hold of a scene for Sri Lanka. Experienced bowling here by you know, Karanavira. Not giving the pace, slowing things down. The length wasn't full. Sophie Divine going through the line but only got the bottom of the bat. And presence of mind at long on. Knew where the boundary was. And exactly what Sri Lanka needed. A wicket at this juncture. Try and restrict New Zealand under 160. Divine, a magnificent 46 of 25. New Zealand 135 for 6. Ranavira. Oh, got another one. Two in succession for the Sri Lankans, two in succession for Ranavira. Sophie Devine was caught at the bowler. And Ranavira picks up a comfortable catch. Suddenly her figures look pretty good. Three for her in her last over. That's the side with only one fielder. Is a petrol in the bound that time as a quicker delivery. Run out chance here. Directed and uh, goes. That's good bit of fielding. Had the presence of mind to took the to take the glove off. That's a brilliant wicket keeper. Yeah, great work that. It's not easy to take the glove off and get to the ball in in a hurry. Yeah, out by a long way. So three dot balls. There was plenty of pressure building up on Halliday and Penfold did the right thing. Third run of Vera, three for fifteen off her four. Oh, good catch. That was a very good catch. Adapatu leads by example. Under the innings. And this is Brooke Halliday. Righty, righty. And have a look at this for a catch. Yeah, since the uh, beginning of the last over, Sophie Devine got out. Ever since then, four wickets have fallen. And uh, only three runs been given away. What a great fight back for Sri Lanka. Definitely getting back into the game. Touch. Comes down the track. Get some bat on that one. Will she come oh, back for the second? Oh, there was a fumble from Kavisha Dilhari. That allows the batters to get back for the second one. Very, very good over from Sugandiga Kumari. Wonderfully well. Batting card for New Zealand. Plenty of uh, good stars. Gaze, Baze, uh, Saad really well. Amelia Kerr looked really dangerous. Just gone for 14. Sri Lankan bowling card. Kavindi. Pretty impressive. Four overs, one for 26. Fernando picked up a wicket. Kumari couple and Dilhari picked up a couple. But easily the pick of the bowlers, Inoka Ranavira, three for 15. If there's any uh, weakness of uh, oh, well Chavala Tapato, it's just when she starts with the off spinner, she's not the most fluent. Well but when she gets in. What a way to get off your mark. That's done. the first six doing it found the gap again through the car point area and feeling chase but uh, they be mere spectators a brilliant over beautifully placed by uh, Harshita Samaravikrama timing exquisite that time the new ball it's quite easy to bat this time deep square like Phil oh, drops it it was hit flat hard for a moment, Chamari Atapatu's heart would have been in her in mouth. Much uh, bowling this tour. She starts off with a short delivery. Chamari Atapatu taking on Molly Painful. The vulnerable. We found what bouncer again. Aggressive. Top edge this time. Fortune favors the brave. The field remains the same. This time she bowls it uh, full. Another boundary the first bilateral series Chamari Atapattu this time just like that that was it fiercely Susie Bates had no chance whatsoever to stop that that's another boundary Chamari Atapattu Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. Just show another quality. Quicker delivery, brilliantly placed. 
Look at that for timing and placement. You cannot time a cricket ball any cleaner than that. That's a magnificent shot and that will bring her 50. Will, she, will we see the name again? No, no, we, will. we won't. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it, yeah, you could see it coming. Very well played. Very good presence of mind. There was wit and there was speed. As well, just when Sri Lanka started getting going, New Zealand, New Zealand in the field have not been great. Really sloppy on that occasion. Needs to take the responsibility. That's in the gap. Everything she touches turns into goal in this innings. He doesn't have the power that the skipper has. Well, that's, that could be a close to a no ball. But 35 to get to a second 100. Harshita Samar Vikrama joining the party. She bowled the exact same. They've, they've given the rest of their squad a bit of a run. And we see Atapattu absolutely mauling that one down the ground. A few more kind of wicket taking options with the ball in these kinds of conditions at the end of this tour. As uh, Harshita Samar Vikrama squeezes one out. With accuracy in the first one. Gave away three boundaries to Chamari. This time she'll be bowling to Harshita. She gets another boundary. The youngsters, Hanaro, Meli, Penfold, they've been taken apart just like that. Harshita Samari Vikrama. She gets another boundary. She moves to 45. And they do so with another leg side shot, this time off a full delivery. Harsha the Summer Rikrama whips that over the leg side infield. Absolutely dominant performance. And uh, although this was a dead rubber, they've, they've, ma they've made their mark on this T T20I series. To Sri Lanka for the very first time, there is the player of the moment. 43 run partnership, absolutely smashing the previous best partnership that Sri Lanka have ever had in T20Is. Yeah, New Zealand playing a couple of bowlers that, that didn't play in the first two T20s, in the live T20s. Penfold coming in, Hannah Rowe coming in, uh, replacing the likes of Leah Tahuhu, the, the experienced Leah Tahuhu, and Leigh Kasparek. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the post-match presentation of this third T20 game between Sri Lanka and New Zealand. First of all, I would like to appreciate the, all the efforts from both these teams for playing a successful tour. So I would like to ask everyone to appreciate the, te the two teams, New Zealand and Sri Lanka. Let's uh, move forward for the awards. The first award for today, player of the match for her wonderful innings, Chamari Atapat to the captain of Sri Lanka. I would like to invite Mr. Keith Siri De Silva, member of the Sri Lanka Cricket Executive Committee, to give away the award. First of all, congratulations uh, for that win. Um, how pleased are you to get this win today? Actually, this win. Um, um must win game for us, especially because uh, the ranking. Uh, so today, uh, my, my team done really good job. Especially, I can mention bowling department. They ball really, really good. So finally, we won. That's really good for us. Especially your innings. Uh, how much of support support did you get from Harshita Samaravikram? Uh, she's a very young girl and uh, one of uh, upcoming cricketer. She done really good to, uh, ju uh, job today, and uh, she support a lot for me. So I will thank to her and the, my teammates and everyone. Uh, especially, I can mention Sri Lanka cricket media and the spectators. Uh, uh, they all support a lot, and uh, I think uh, New Zealand uh, team. I think they will enjoy a lot in Sri Lanka. Hopefully, we can meet again. Thank you very much, Shamari. Thank you. So the next award would be. The player of the series award for scoring 133 runs through three games. The player of the series, Susie Bates of New Zealand. Susie, 
congratulations how do you feel about this entire tour uh yeah a little bit bittersweet um i thought you know the one days was disappointing but chamari played outstanding and put us under pressure and we've probably been a little bit under par with the bat today so yeah it's hard to end like that but i think all in all we've loved our time in sri lanka we've learned a lot about playing in these conditions um we've seen how strong sri lanka are in the field and with the ball and um yeah it's been a real test for us and we know we've got lots of cricket coming up in these conditions so as long as we learn from it um, we'll take all the positives personally how pleased are you with your batting performances uh, yeah, today um, not so pleased. Um, you always want to put your team in winning positions, but look, it's nice to score some runs in the first two games, get us across the line, and yeah, look, it's um, it's nice to be out in the middle and contributing, but you always want more. Thank you, Susie. Wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to ask uh, the White Fern skipper Sophie. Firstly, we'll uh, speak a few words, and then we'll uh, get to the main award. So if you all won the series, made a few changes to your team, where did uh, New Zealand go wrong today? Well, we didn't score enough runs, did we? I think, um, as Sue's mentioned, I think the platform was there to maybe score another 150, 160, but the way that Chamari batted again today took the game away from us. The entire tour, New Zealand won three games, Sri Lanka won three games, New Zealand won the T20 series, Sri Lanka won the ODI series. How happy are you with the entire tour? Yeah, again, probably just echoing Suze's words, probably a bit bittersweet, obviously, with the one days. Um, really disappointing to go down to that series, and, and we were completely outplayed by some pretty uh, fantastic batting. So, look, we've got plenty to, to take home with us. It's been an awesome experience. I think I think 13 of the, the 15 players haven't been here before. So we'll certainly take a lot of learnings home and, and know that we've got a lot of work to do. Thank you, Sophie, and uh, thank you for visiting Sri Lanka. Now, I would like to ask Mr. Kitty De Silva, the executive committee member from Sri Lanka Cricket to give away the T20I series winner to New Zealand and I would like to ask the team members to come forward for a team photograph. That's it from the post-match presentation. And joined by the teammates. It's been an intriguing series this inaugural bilateral series between these two countries and uh, New Zealand winning the T20s 2-1. That last game, today's game, New Zealand for the first time losing the toss, invited to bat first by Chamari Adabatu, 140 for 9, Divine 46, chasing 141 to win. They got there with 14.3 overs, with, thanks to a swashbuckling 80 from Chamari Atapattu and a magnificent 49 of 40 from Harshita Samarvikrama Sri Lanka, won by 10 wickets. Yet to taste victory against New Zealand in ODIs as well as T20s, and both uh, both dreams come true today. 13th game between these two countries, Sri Lanka tasted victory for the very first time. The first 12 been won by White Firm.